Hey there, I'm Hugo Ferreira from Tech Corner TV and today is Monday, so we have another mailbag day. As usual, we have a lot of package to open today. We, are, we have a, a lot of small ones. Yeah, that's what we got this week. And don't forget, if you are new here, please subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified every time we have new videos. I don't know what, what's in here, but most of these articles are reviewed in the other two channels we have, the Tech Corner Reviews and Tips channel for technology and the Tech Corner Electronics Projects and Tutorials for test equipment, uh, electronic modules and electronic parts. So give a look in those channels and you will probably find something you like. So right now it's unbox time. We will move everything away and we'll start by this one. Let's see what we have here. Ah, okay. Let's... As I told you before, I'm also... Uh, as most of people, a bit of a maker. And I ordered some uh, corners to the extruded. Uh, this is for PCB and uh, laser machine assembly. And it's to be used uh, in the corners of the extruded aluminium. Instead of having corners outside the aluminium, we will use this inside and with the screws it will be connected and secured. So I have here two bags of it with the yeah with the screws to to secure it. Okay. When I have the the the, the machine assembled I will show you guys here in a, another video in the I don't know if the review channel or the electronics in one of them. Okay, we have here another package. I can see. Uh, it, mm, it should be something to the 3D printer also. It says shafts. Let's see what in it. Yeah, this is for the rods. Uh, the, it, it's they are shafts for the rods. You put the, the, the rods in here and you secure it directly on the on the extruded aluminium with the with screws. So I believe they are all like yeah, quite four sets for four rods. I don't know right now for which project I bought this. I have to see. Uh, but yeah. More 3D printing stuff. Okay, we have, oh, again. We have also a content bearing. This is also for 3D printer. Yep. Those are bearings. Well, it's for 3D printer and not only, but uh, the, the idea is to be used on a carriage uh, in a 3D printer or uh, electronic uh, laser cutter or something like that. So, well, today it seems they they match to together to send me everything from for the 3D printer. Ah, no. Okay, so we have now another one. Uh, it's not for 3D printer. Uh, thank God, let's open it. This is for the electronics channel. Those are always in need. Uh, let's see if we can get some. Ah, okay, so now we have it. 
This is a, a 600 pieces uh, resistors, 30 values. Uh, let's see what's in it, in the box. So we have here the, the indication of the, the resistance value, 10K. Well, I will not take this out because after I'm afraid I cannot store it. But you can, you can see you have a lot of resistors here. And let's try to close it again. Ah, okay. So this is a set so we can have all this uh, resistor uh, available. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is not very, it should, I don't know right now the price. I will leave a link for this box in, in the comments uh, section. And yeah, it's always good to have this on, on an on a electronics lab. Oh, the ink. So we have here, and uh, I can read this. Let's see. Let's open and try to figure it out. I ordered the, the stuff for my uh, 3D printer and 3D cut, uh, laser cutter uh, all, all of, uh, at the same time. So it arrived uh, mostly at the same time. In here we have a module. This is an Ethernet module. Uh, I believe I don't know right now because I don't have here the specs. Uh, let's see if we can get a focus. Nano Ethernet Shield. Yeah. DK Electronics. Uh, so the idea, and that's why I received a Nano a few days ago. Uh, the idea is to, let's see, we can get focus down here. The idea is to install uh, Arduino Nano in here. Uh, there are also uh, ESP8266 that have the same format and use it to connect to the Ethernet. I know that mostly today we use the Wi-Fi, uh, but there are cases that Ethernet will be more stable and it will be better to use it. So I ordered this. Okay, let's move on. We have here content shoes. I don't know what they mean with that. <laughs> Content shoes. Okay. So uh, those are battery holders. Uh, yeah, 18650 uh, uh, batteries. Uh, I already ordered some uh, holders before, but were to, to be mounted on a PCB. Those are only for, for well, to connect to anything. It doesn't have the PCB, PCB mount, the, 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 the pins to do a PCB mount. And yeah. I believe those are serial. Yeah. Yep, yep, serial, not parallel. So this must be like nine, uh, three, seven, six, line, like uh, 10 volts and something, 10 to, to 11 volts in here. And on seven and uh, seven. And f seven and, f and an alpha most in here. Yep. So some battery adapters. 
nothing too much here and let's see <sighs> integrated circuit let's see what they sent us uh -huh. As I mentioned before, I don't know what is going on with the autofocus, but it's not working. Let's see if we can get... A focus here. I'm sorry, but I'm not having any luck with this. So, what we have here, um, it's dipped the connectors for for integrated chips uh, for uh, for process microprocessors and circuits and those are to be mounted in with pins deep style and we have two kinds of connectors the this one it's smd montage and this, let's take out, I don't know why I didn't do it before. So this one, it's deep con uh, contact to be, mount to, be mount uh, to be mounted on a PCB uh, with holes. You have to do to the holes. This one is already uh, damaged. Bad packing, yeah, it's already damaged. And uh, finally, we have here some focus. And we have here SMD, SMD contact here. I already have the processors, they already came uh, for. I have, I believe, 30, 32 bits processors. Yeah, that's a pity. Let's see. Yeah, it's already fixed. It's easy. So, some electronic components for us. Okay, and I have another one here. Plug. Let's see what we have here. We have a warning a battery. This is a battery. Uh, uh, Fifty hundred milliamps battery, three dot uh, seven volts. I want to use this on a project I have. That it will be better to have a small battery like this instead of a eighteen six hundred and fifty, like this. It, it will take much more space. And yeah. I believe this, this battery was used in, the, in Nokia's in the old time. Like the 3300 uh, model. Used batteries like this. Yeah, it has a, a controller there. See. Yeah. Okay. So let's take it away. And the last one. Let's open this one. Okay. 
I have to be more careful opening this stuff. And it is those are so I don't know what is going on with this camera today. It's not working very well. So what we have here it's backgrounds for photo shooting and let's try to yeah so we have here backgrounds for photo shooting and yeah as always they came a little bit banged up I have here a grey a blue and a white one yeah this will be very interesting for us okay for today that's all i have uh, i hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed uh, please give a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you haven't already please do and hit that bell so you can be notified every time we have new videos don't forget we will review some of this stuff well today it was only uh, other than the module small stuff mm, probably not but anyway give a look on the other two channels tech corner reviews and tips and tech corner electronics projects and tutorials and that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed stay safe we see you on the next video thank you